This is Foley, my newly maxed account, and after maxing, I have the desire to obtain some of the rarest items in the game, and I'm going to do it one boss at a time. Once I pick a boss, I'm stuck there until I receive one of the rarest items from that boss. For example, killing the King Black Dragon until I receive either the pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000 kills, or the Draconic Visage at a rate of 1 in 5,000 kills. Follow me on this journey as I take steps into some of the longest, or luckiest, grinds yet. Welcome to Spooned or Doomed. Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome back to Spooned or Doomed. Last video we took a little break from this series to go get our infernal cape and it looks so, so sexy. And I ended up getting the tangle root along the way so that is a new pet added to the collection. But yes, we ended off that video with the Inferno Cape, and after selling all the gear that I had for the Inferno, then I ended up with 1.1 billion GP. I know exactly what I'm going to spend it on because, like I mentioned in the end of the last video, I will be stepping into the Chambers of Xerix for the first time, and I will not leave there until I get a Mega Rare or the pet. Now there are three Mega Rare items on the Cox drop table. That being the Kodai Insignia, the Elder Maul, and the Twisted Bow. Now, if I had to pick one of the Mega Rares to get, it would definitely be the Twisted Bow. The other two Mega Rares are worth about the same, so I would place them, like, right around the same tier. And the Omelet is a 1 in 53 every time you get a purple. So, yeah, the Omelet is pretty rare, but, you know, maybe we'll get it. I don't know. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started, and thank you for watching. Now, the Chambers of Xeric is the first raid that came out in old school RuneScape. Like each raid, it requires you to have gear for all three combat styles. Now, with this 1.1 build, I'm going to be able to afford a decent amount of the best in slot gear, but I won't be able to have a scythe or a shadow. So we're just going to uh, kind of buy what we can and see what is up. Um, the first thing that we got to get is the Elder Maul. This is going to be our defense draining weapon. Whenever we go into Ulm, I know that is a thing. So that's 140 mil down the drain already. We're going to buy a Ancestral Top, 172 mil. Ancestral Bottom for 128 mil. I'm not sure if the Ancestral Hat is needed, so I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy a Sang Staff. Now this thing is, uh, I think it's a little bit better than a Trident, but what it does is it gives you healing. Um, I think it's like one sixth of the damage that you do, you get healed. So that will help with sustain. And then for melee gear, we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves Dragon Hunter Lance. That's going to be 62 mil. Our Amulet of Torture, Tormented Bracelet. We're going to go ahead and get our Primordial Boots back. That's going to be another 34 mil. We still have 491 mil. And I think the only other upgrades that I can get at this point is uh, Melee Armor. I'm not sure how much Torva costs. Uh, Torva Full Helm, 248. Yeah, we have 491 mil. I think the Torva Full Helm is probably, probably the move. We can get the Torva Full Helm because that's going to give us the best like strength bonus to any other uh, helmet that we can get. And then I think I'm just going to go with the Bando's Chest Plate and the Bando's Tacits. So I could get the Eldenus Ward uh, Fortified and then we can get the Eldenus Ward. I think that's, that thing's like 5 mil or something. Arcane Sigil. There we go. 135 mil and then yes we want to make the fortified eldenus ward okay now we're now we're looking spiffy oh my god look at that this is the first time i've had ancestral this is the first time i've had like any of this mage setup ancestral saying staff and the eldenus ward fortified that's uh that's pretty cool all right i believe this is the setup it's a lot of gear um it's probably going to change over time. I might have to bring in a little bit less switches the first couple times till I get the hang of it, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm I'm going to wait for my buddy Hard LMS to get on. He's going to uh, kind of show me the ropes, get me comfortable with this fight, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And we got 5.5 million starting out this uh, Chambers of Xerix grind. So uh, yeah, we're pretty much starting at zero. So I guess we'll uh, we'll end up seeing how much we end up making throughout this entire video. I'm going to try to keep a loot tab. I've grown tired of waiting. So I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just going to try a solo 
and uh, experiment and see how it goes. I do know that you can reload for better setups, so I'm not sure what a good setup is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this layout. We have tightrope, another puzzle, Mutadile, Shamans, and Mystics. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I watched one small video, so um, wish me luck and uh yeah maybe we can get it clear i think we can just hide behind this for a couple game ticks and take as least amount of damage as possible oh and yeah there's these energy wells i can get my energy back with these things thank god because you do a lot of running in this raid apparently okay this is the crocodile room all right um i think that's the move i think we range it okay it's healing i know you can <laughs> Do I need to cut that tree first? I actually have no idea. This isn't working out too well. I don't think I'm going to survive this. No, I'm definitely not surviving this. Goodbye. Okay, well... Uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm going to look into that. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to... I'm just going to quit this raid. I'm going to look into that. And then uh, we'll, we will try again. If I don't have any freezes, I just need to chop down the tree and tank. That way the muted dial doesn't heal. Hey, we got a we got a combat achievement too. Would you look at that? Who would have known the first thing I used my infernal cape on was a uh, was a statue with a dragon pickaxe. This is the shaman's room. So they're they're Lizaman shamans, but I do not have Shazian armor on, so I need to be very careful. Yeah, since we don't have Shazian armor on, um, if we get hit by the splat, then we will get venomed. Which is why I brought the sand for you. Could have safe spotted him with the jump if I just camped along the walls, but that's fine. We're doing okay. Yep, I am here at home. Okay, what I can do is I can I can suicide all my supplies in there. That should help me uh, have more room for other supplies in my inventory and I can pick it up as I need. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to uh, pretty much suicide all my shit. We'll see what happens. I have no idea what I'm doing. So this probably will not end well. All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm not even sure what's going on. Oh my God. Okay, well, we're just going to keep going back in until we are out of supplies. Oh man. Um, yeah, I don't think it's happening. <laughs> Well, can I just go back? Can I just take my time and make more potions? Uh, yeah, this is probably really cheese, but it is what it is. I'm on the third phase, so I might as well just complete it. That was so cheese, but uh, we got more uh, Ceridome and Brews, and uh, actually, I mean, we're already throwing, so we might as well just fill up our inventory, am I right? Oh, the hand respawned. It's over. I thought I thought I killed them both at the, at the right time, but the hand respawned. It's, uh, this is quite over for me. I don't have any okay well it was a it was a nice try i i still have no idea what i'm doing but i was kind of learning just by messing around it was a good first ohm attempt i would have to say but we just didn't kill the mage hand quite fast enough i think we we're just a couple ticks off yeah if i had more staminas that would probably i'd probably be able to go in for another round but i just don't have the staminas so this is a this is a dud Oh, we 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 got really close. We still have a little bit of supplies, so I'm gonna go ahead and try. Oh my god! Well, just for the experience, I'm gonna do this. We're on the final phase. We just gotta kill Almhead. I'm gonna make some more Zerkades. All right, let's go. I'm pretty sure we just run around this whole time. And we did it! Yay! We did it! It only took us an hour and like a million deaths, but we did it. And we get we get some grimy snapdragons and some uncut diamonds. We made a hundred k. Look at us go! Keep hitting them. I know you're just gonna walk around. Just walk around. Oh. And... <laughs> <laughs> I should have warned you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that is our first collection log slot: the torn prayer scroll. That was pretty. Oh, there you go. And there we no go. More. Hey, another hey. task. Oh man, Saltpeter. Good luck, buddy. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay. You got it. You got it. Okay. I tried. <laughs> no, 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 no. After you. After you. After you. Come on. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. 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 No, no, no. Wait. 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 No. 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 After you. After you. No. 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 I got. I got. I got. Uh, uh, she's white. She's always white. Oh, white. Oh, I <laughs> got some rune arrows you? for yeah. Jared, though. Hey! That was literally hey. the freest combat achievement I had. This went a lot better than I anticipated, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, you thought, you thought it was gonna be poo-poo cheek-cheek? Uh, I mean, I am, I, I, but I, I, like... I, I, I thought it was gonna be fucking brutal. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. No, I, I, can, I can learn things rather quick. Yeah, spoke, spoke too soon, I guess, bro. Bro, I'm about to spellbook swap, get telegrab. I don't know if you could telegrab that thing. I'm talking about that. What are you talking about? My oh, fucking you're fucking dragon, dragon arrows. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guy. Gold new PB at least. Oh, a white light. Would you look at that? That is a uh, that is a PB on solo 47, almost 48 minutes. I mean, I died, I suicided once, and then I died another time. So, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to get used to a solo raid, but... It's not too bad. Get some mahogany planks and some adamant ore. Another white light. Okay. Oh, we got an elite clue scroll. I forget you can get these from here. That's a new PB too. We uh, beat our PB by over five minutes. Blood runes and death runes. We like to see that. And a 3431 actually. Beat our PB by eight minutes. Oh, we got the ancient tablet. Oh. So this ancient tablet, I can put it in with the Xerix Talisman and uh, it will give me a teleport directly to Chambers of Xerix, so that's pretty neat. <laughs> oh my god, we got the Undying Raid. I, I lived off a redemption proc. We got the, uh, no deaths, I mean, I, I mean, I died right at the very end, but uh... <laughs> Hey, it says we, it says I didn't die. So that's all that matters, right? Okay. Yeah, I have the plug and that puts question marks for uniques now. So in okay. clan chat, right. so I can't see it. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Ancestral fucking rope bottom. Oh. Fuck yes, buddy. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes, buddy. But these are my. 127 mil. Oh, oh my fuck God. Yeah. And that's huge for the iron too. That's huge. Bro, from fucking Dagon Hyde to Ancestral. Hell. Oh, wait, I gotta loot my chest. I didn't need open mine. Okay. There we go. There <laughs> you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's what Fuck I'm yeah, about. bro. That's that's such a nice split for your first drop, bro. Oh, yeah. I was expecting <laughs> an arcane. Yeah, it's like a little a bit better than an arcane. Just, just a tad bit. Wow, Hard got another purple today. That's crazy. How do you get another purple? <laughs> oh, All let's, right, bud. let's see what All it right. is. Oh my god. What it's do you three. want? What do you want? Dex? I want a Tebow, bro. I want a Dex or a Tebow, dog. That's Dex what I or want. Tebow. Okay. I don't want to see a cut. I don't want to see a Kodai. I don't want to see an Arcane. Elder Maul, no fucking way, bro. Another Elder no Maul? You can way, bro. Elder no Maul? No fucking way, bro. Fuck me, bro. Oh no my god. <laughs> no fucking way. Uh... Bro, I got a second Elder Maul. Oh, oh fuck man. me, bro. Oh. Well, that's a big split for you, dog. Yeah, that's money right there. <laughs> no. Man. Today's a good day. Today's a good day, bro. Today is a good day. Good, a good <laughs> day for Maine. It's a good day for Maine. All right, that was a that was a good day of raiding. I did twelve chambers of Xerix today, and I didn't get a purple, but Mr. Hard got two purples. So we definitely made some money. The cash stack is sitting at one hundred and sixty-four million. And if you're wondering, the platinum tokens, um. It's almost 600 mil. It's not mine. It's uh, for the clan. We're doing a clan event pretty soon, and that's all the uh, donations that we have for the clan event. So, but yeah, we got 164 mil now, and we're like not even 20 chambers as Eric's into this grind, and we've already made a, a really decent amount of money. I, I, I still got to work on my solo uh, coxes. I can definitely get better, but. Uh, Doing it with teams is a lot easier for me because I have someone running head and it just makes it a lot easier. So I definitely want to learn how to run head at some point. I'm going to I'm gonna try to learn when I do solos. That way, uh, when I do learn it, I can run head a little bit when I do play with teams.
Alright, that's an easy combat achievement. All I had to do was pray mage instead of range at uh, the ice demon. So that's a pretty easy combat achievement to get. Might as well do it. I was way too focused on Ohm going into final phase to even realize we still had teleport on me. <laughs> uh... Oh, there's Chambers of Xerix Veteran. I believe that's 25 kills. Did pretty good right there. We had 31k points. I only died once uh, because I suicided supplies, but I'm sort of getting down the four to one a little bit, but still got some work to do. We're using less supplies, I think. Oh, we got a purple. Okay. First purple. Well, my first purple. What is it going to be? Um, not sure. Let's just go ahead and open it. We got the decks. Thank God Hard isn't here because he would have uh, he would have not been happy. <laughs> but we got our deck scroll. Hell yeah! Let's go. Deck scrolls are only sixteen mil now. What? I thought they were like thirty. That's crazy. Well, it's our first purple. I was kind of expecting a scroll. And if you're wondering, I have four hundred eighty-two k personal points, but. That's only out of 22 kills, so because I didn't download this plugin until seven kills ago, and I've gotten I got one kill where I got zero points because I got carried for the uh, the elite diary. So there was seven kills on here not logged, so we're probably a little under drop rate. I believe it's around 800,000 points for a purple on average. Yeah, we're probably just a little under drop rate right there. Well, that was a that was a good day of raiding. We did a 12 kills today and we got ourselves a dex yeah overall pretty good day and we'll come back tomorrow oh, <laughs> oh we got an onyx from uh tecton that's uh that's pretty funny oh that that's the first onyx i've ever gotten to that's uh that's pretty amazing i believe that was a pb yeah 24 26 that was a that was a pretty good run Oh, I wonder what it is. All right, let's just see what it is. Oh, Ancestral Robe Bottom. Oh, oh my God. Thank you very much. 129 mil right into my pocket. That is a solo. So we take all that money and take it to the bank. Okay, I may be, I may be a little spooned here. I only have 678k points. Well, maybe a little bit more because I don't have all my kills logged in here, but most of them are. So, uh, maybe a tad bit, tad bit spooned. All right, here's what we're looking like. 38 raids and we got two collection log slots and the ancestral robe bottom and the dex prayer scroll. All right, this is the first uh, two plus one that we did, so we're going to get extra points, so a higher chance at a purple. Oh, oh, purple. Speaking of purple, higher chance of purple. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's see what we got. All right, what are we thinking? You got a purple? Yeah, what are we thinking? Oh, good. I think you're getting a dex. Another dex? Uh, it's probably an arcane. It's it's probably an arcane. Alright, well, we gotta go one more time, you know that, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a dex, <laughs> isn't it? I'm sorry. It's, it's a dex. I fucking knew it. I oh, knew I'm it. so sorry. <laughs> I fucking knew it, bro. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hey, it's a little little eight mil split for for you, at least. <laughs> yeah, thanks, bro. Yo, you're booking it up. And uh, that is a uh, fifty chambers of Zerix completed. Uh, three purples, uh, not too bad. And we're starting to do two plus one on uh, 
when we duo, so we're gonna get a higher chance at purples now, which is uh, pretty cool. All right, we got a purple boys. Oh, oh, oh. oh. no, 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 it is. It's bro. More points than you two. Oh, my God. Dog, I, you fucking spoon my decks, bro. Fuck me. For those of you that don't know, uh, the person I'm doing these rights with hard, he is uh, in need of a dex, and uh, I've been taking every single one, so it, it kind of feels bad. And yeah, he's an Iron Man, so it's not like he can buy it, so yeah, he, he needs this. But uh, I keep taking them from him, and I feel bad, but it is what it is. Alright, not a bad day of raiding, did uh, 12 raids, and of course we got that dex uh, scroll, so uh, still rolling in on the purples. Yeah, it was a lot of team raids, and we're, we're doing the plus one, so our purple chance is uh, definitely a little better, so I didn't really get a chance to do much uh, solos, but uh, I'm uh, getting down the 4 to 1, I'm getting pretty close to not dying at home, so I won't need to be suiciding any more brews here pretty soon, hopefully. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll check back in tomorrow and see what we're up to. It, that was a deathless raid. Look at that undying raider. I mean, I had to bring purple sweets in, but uh, we still did it. So that is uh, pretty cool. Do I get a purple for it? No, I get a white. That is okay. We got a combat achievement. So death runes and some herbs. Very nice. All right, what's it gonna be? Uh, let me take a guess. It's gonna be a dex. No, of course it's not a dex. It has to be. No, it's gonna it's gonna be a dex or an arcane. A dex or an arcane. The D claws. It's gonna be the D claws. D -claws? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's the hat. It's the ancestral hat. She oh my god. Ancestral hat. We take those. Ooh. Woo. Wait, you actually get a okay. split too. Ooh, oh my ooh, god. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Wait, Chambers is Eric's master. God damn it! God damn it! Ah. Not a bad day of raiding. We got 15 done, and of course we got that ancestral hat. So uh, another purple added to the collection log. We need the ancestral robe top, and then we have full ancestral on the log, which uh, be something that's pretty cool to see. But uh, 76 raids done, and uh, I'll pick it up again tomorrow. Another white light. We got some pure essence and runite ore. I died at the very end. Almost had another uh, deathless raid, but it was a close one. But a new PB, 31 minutes. All right, I'm not one for explaining uh, this. I will link a video in the description of this video that helped me learn the three to zero mage hand and the four to one melee hand. But I just wanted to show you guys this clip of uh, me doing the three zero to four one, nearly perfect.
That was a really good run. Did not die. 37,000 points. Uh, I finally figured out the 3-0 and the 4-1 method pretty well and how to get into them. So it's definitely helping a lot. Uh, ended off a solo with uh, two and a half brews. That's a really good. It's really good. Putting it Alm on the line. I believe that is a solo raid with 40,000 points. Yeah, it's a solo raid with more than 40k points. That's uh, that's pretty good. We're definitely getting better. And uh, we get a dark relic and some uncut sapphire for it. Very nice. Oh, that's blind spot. Oh uh, yeah, we uh, that's a uh, killing tecton without taking any damage, which I also believe is uh, yeah, I completed the elite tier of rewards for combat achievements. So uh, that is something I've been working on for quite a while now, and it's pretty cool to uh to get it while i'm doing chambers of xerix so I'm, I'm gonna go claim that after for this raid here pretty cool little achievement to get three deathless raids in a row and i'm gonna go grab that elite combat achievement rewards real quick all right gommel i am here to talk about combat achievements i think i completed it here look at this all right okay so we got the elite combat achievement we get this antique lamp that i'm just gonna put right into herb board does not matter i am maxed anyways okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna throw up all the rewards right here but i'm just going to name off the more important ones um in my eyes we get a five percent increased chance to receive an elite clue scroll from all sources besides implants whenever we get a slayer task for a boss we can now do up to 55 kills God Wars Dungeon boss entrances are now 30 kill count instead of 35. We can make the Dragon Hunter crossbow T, combining it with a Vorkaf's head. We can actually get a Tiztok Slayer helmet, which I'm going to do right here. That's why I have a Slayer helmet in my inventory. And the big one that I'm really excited about is the Superior Slayer monster spawn at a rate of 1 in 150 instead of a 1 in 200. That is huge. And then the Dwarf Multi Cannon can now hold up to 60 cannonballs. So, elite combat achievements. Pretty good, I'd say. I, I, I'm i really happy I got these. And it kind of makes me want to go on a Slayer grind soon again. But uh, it's going to have to hold off for a little bit. But alright, back to Chambers of Xerix. You know, I said that I was going to change it. My, the Slayer helmet into a Tiztalk one, and then I never did, so here we go. Alright, we got the Tiztalk Slayer helmet. Oh yeah, looking spiffy. So that is uh, two Slayer helmets that I have that are uh, not the standard default ones. That one and the Hydra one, and hopefully one day I'll have a copy of each one. New PB, 3043, so we're pushing the sub 30 now, almost. Still got a little bit to go, but we're improving. But that is uh, 12 kills for the day, uh, no purples. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this video at 100 kills. We're at 89 right now, so probably uh, another day or two, and uh, we'll get that 100 kill count, and we'll see loot-wise and all that. But I'm getting really familiar with the solo home fight, so that is really satisfying. We beat our PB by, like, two minutes. Oh my god, a 2750. That was, uh, we were speeding there. Oh my god. We got some rune arrows and lizard man fangs. There we go. Oh! White light, but we got a new personal best, 2737. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Another new personal best, 2637. Very nice. All right, and uh, that is kill count 100 of Chambers of Xerix. Um, I'm going to actually do a couple more. I know I said I was going to end the video here, but uh, um, I still got a little bit of time left in the day, so we'll do a little over 100 kills. Well, that was the uh, last raid of the night, so uh, it's gonna wrap up the video. We got some soul runes and adamant ore. Yeah, not a not a bad video. We got 104 chambers of Zarek kill count um, in the video. Well, 103 because I did because I had one before for the diary. And go to the bank. We'll check over the loot and, and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll wrap up the video. All right, here is the loot tab that we have right now. I'm just gonna pull up the plugin though to kind of show a better representation. Um, the uh, loot loggers showing 102 kill count, so we're missing a kill. But we, in that 102 kill count, have received 
five purples, three being the Dexterous Prayer Scroll, and then we have the Ancestral Hat and the Ancestral Bottom, totaling up to 262 million GP. But we also did receive a split for an Elder Maul and the Ancestral Bottom. Yeah, I mean, seven purples and a total of 103 raids. That is, uh, I would say that is pretty good. Even getting five is really lucky. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. But if we take the loot tab plus all the gold that we have because we started from zero, made about 320 mil in this video um, and 100 chambers kill count, give or take a little bit. Yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty good. This is going to be one of what could be many parts of the Spoonder Doomed Cox edition. And it's the first time I've done parts for anything, but with Chambers of Xerix or like any raid really, it's going to be necessary because the items from here are extremely rare and could take a very long time to obtain them. So um, I feel like splitting them into parts is going to be better for you guys and better for me. That way I don't uh, have a like six hour long video of me just doing chambers for 2000 hours or whatever. And we can split it off and kind of see the progression and everything. But I think this is a good stopping point a little over 100 kills it's saying 42 in the plugin solo but we haven't tracked like eight in the uh in this plugin so right around i'd say 45 um to 46 solo kills and i've gotten it down pretty well to where i can three to zero and four to one now hopefully in next video we can pump up the kill count by a substantial amount see even more purples and maybe even one of the sought after mega rares and the tebow Kodai Insignia, Elder Maul, or even the Pet Omelette. But I'm going to end this video off here. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more videos in the future. And also a big shout out to my channel members. We have at the Teaspoon tier, Unlucky Soup, Buns Gaming, and Blake North. And at the Tablespoon tier, we have Ultimate Gaming and Dakota Akin. I appreciate you guys very much. That's going to be it for me. My name's Foley, and I will see you all later.